Hey guys, before we get started, here's a list of K-pop groups that Adam and Sebastian are gonna be reacting to in the future. And if you haven't seen your favorite K-pop groups uh, listed onto this list, please comment below. And most likely we will pick a request. And if you wanna see if your request has been chosen, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification right next to it if you wanna see more videos in future's time. Thank you and let's get back to the show. It's time to react to BTS once again. Okay guys, so today is an extremely special day because I am filming in ultra 4K video resolution with the iPhone 10 X whatever. So Apple, please sponsor us. All right, we're gonna be checking out uh, BTS, which I've never actually listened to. I've heard so much about them um, from people actually other than just Kevin and the, the gang. Um, I've seen like tons of advertisements on American television for these guys. And so I'm really excited to listen to some of their music. All right, guys, let's get into it. We're gonna check out Blood, Sweat, and Tears. And mic drop the Steve Aoki remix. Hell yeah! Let's get right into it. Yeah, man. Here we go. My first. Uh, I'm losing my BTS virginity here. Let's do it. I want to live there. Hey, you can tell that those weren't like really recorded there, like the pat and the walking. I don't know if you've seen those people that do the the sound effects for movies. They have to like make those sounds with various things. And you could kind of tell that that's, that's what they did for that. Which is weird because this is a music video. This isn't even like a movie or anything, but that's really cool. Okay, orchestral. Very epic vibe so far. Is it going to be that kind of thing? No, it's not. Oh. Oh, it's definitely not that kind of thing, but holy moly. That's cool. Gorgeous voice. Very airy, but it goes with the style. Again, another reggaeton sounding beat that I am not mad at. So sexy. What a gruff voice. It almost sounds like how I said, it's time to react to BTS. <laughs> This is a little more hip hop than I anticipated. This one's not as gruff, but it's definitely just as rough. Gruff, not rough, not gruff. I love that little whistle, like in the back there, right there. That's an awesome little detail. The choreography is just so great. This is amazing. This is a very full sound that they just push you with, man. It's beautiful. Oh, damn, that was cool. I can see why uh, everyone finds them so attractive. Because, first of all, they're just beautiful human beings. But second, they have that, like, that little, like, whispery thing going on with every line. It's nice though, it works. I love the way they have both octaves. It's da and then ah, but they mix it perfectly and it just sounds so great. 
the setting for this video is really cool too. Build up the tension. It still hasn't exactly released. This is still part of the tension build, I feel. God, what a gorgeous set of voices. Yeah, it's still building up as I thought. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> the, 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 the dude's gone! The dude's gone! Goodbye. Uh -huh. That's really cool. I've never seen that in a music video. That's a really cool effect. Oh! Oh, those chills. Oh, those chills. Hey, smoke up, man, yeah. Those chills, that voice is just so beautiful and the head tone was executed so perfectly. Oh, those chords. Oh, those chords. Like some Fifty Shades of Grey shit is gonna happen in just a minute. I feel like Adam would not like this because he doesn't like melodrama because where it stops him. What? I love how theatrical this is. I don't know what to say. <laughs> what? <laughs> this went from like a turn up kind of thing to just. Hello, my name is Count Dracula. Ah, 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 ah. One. Ah, ah. <laughs> I feel like I'm not commenting enough on anything, but I just, I'm like in awe of this production. I don't know what's going on either. This is super crazy weird. Yeah, th these guys are not human. They're probably just reptilians that have signed with the devil and yeah. No wonder they're so good. Maybe I should just do that. <laughs> That's such a beautiful figure, by the way. It just... What? Ooh. What? This is so weird. Awesome choreography. That was a cool jump right there. Oh, this is so tight. Oh no. What the fuck? What, what happened? What just happened? That was awesome, but I don't, I have no idea what happened. Um, I'm trying to read through the comments to see what happened. Uh, all right, I don't, I don't have a clue. You guys are gonna have to help me with this. Please explain. I, I really wanna know the meaning behind that video. That was super cool, super catchy song. Um, My boy is cracking. <laughs> what the heck, guys? I, I don't, I'm gonna wait for the end to discuss this. I don't even know. Let, let's just check out mic drop. Okay, here we go. I thought it was a little long like second chorus around that time maybe i was kind of like thinking it was getting a little long and then they kind of they broke it up like right after i started to think that and they had the whole break the theatrical kind of break and and then they brought it back for the last chorus and i thought that was really cool what they did with that and like everything was really fancy and all sexual and just neat but i, I liked it it was strangely awesome is the only way I could describe that. But I like the song a lot, uh, it was pretty cool. 
So, okay, here is mic drop. So I'm ready for this one. I think Kevin uh, told me about this one and said it was like a, the ultimate screw you, we made it to stardom kind of thing. So here we go, mic drop. I wanna say something about it now, but I just, it's too much. I don't know. So there's Steve. How are you doing, Steve? <laughs> cool bass effects already, and it's not even. I know that guy. That's th that's Steve Baoki who remixed it. He's a talented producer. That looks very Jabberwocky's style of dancing right there, and the style of clothing. Oh, very. Tight sound right there. And I'm not talking about like cool tight, I'm talking about like it's actually like a tight sound and it's so perfectly produced. Yeah. Mm hmm. There's the attitude. Yeah. Hit me. That little rasp in his voice almost sounded like Eminem ish. Not quite as intense, but you know. There's that thing where they changed the thing. The last thing they did to like that pink kind of color, but now it's just a negative, and I love that. I've only seen Nirvana do that in one of their music videos. <laughs> this video is badass. Oh, there's, there's those sounds, those like bell kind of sounding things. That's more popular effects, I'd say, or instrumentation. It's not real instruments, but you know what I mean. Oh. This is awesome. I love the way they did that thing in the back with a lot of reverb. It was almost telephone vocal. I like that high note. Made it there. There it is. It sounds very otherworldly. <laughs> you know, usually when they add people that aren't the band, like in this case it's Steve, like it just seems cringy. Like, oh, that that didn't seem like it was in place. You know. But the way they're adding them, like you could see them in like the back, the top of them when they're dancing at times, and it's not cringy. It's really cool. He wasn't even like lip syncing for half of that. He was just like the choreography has so much flow. There we go. Build up that tension. Ooh. Damn. Yeah, man. Ooh, that head tone right there. That was perfectly executed. I wouldn't even say beautiful. That was just great. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool airy sound that they have going on there. Yeah, man. Beautiful voices. I know they're auto tuned, but I'm just able to appreciate the way they sound. And not all of it's auto tuned, so. It's just part of the style, you know? <laughs> oh, that was sweet. Dude. That was fantastic. Mic drop. That was 
flippin' cool, man. Hell yeah. Jeez. I have much to say. Okay, I didn't I didn't comment that much throughout the video. I really wanted to like take that one in. That was so awesome. Um, that was way more hip hop than I was expecting. I expected them to be a lot more pop and they really had like a lot of attitude, which was awesome. Uh, that worked out super well. Uh, the music video was crazy cool. Both of those videos were great. I love the production on them. Um, first song was pretty good. The second song was super badass. Um, like great lyrics and everything. Okay, I have a lot to say, guys. I mean, I have a lot to say. That okay, what what the heck was with that first video? I was kidding about them signing with the devil, but then he kissed that thing with the black wings, which signifies that it was some kind of evil entity. It could have been like, oh, maybe they're like becoming one with the darkness, and in this sense, maybe fame is the darkness, and they're just rolling with it. Maybe it's something hard maybe it's just like a like a, a demon in a non-religious term like in a non-religious sense and they're just like rolling with it and yeah I, I don't i don't know that was so weird and cool it, it was just a very interesting video and i i, I was so just blown away by everything because it was sounded beautiful and it just looked beautiful and everything that they were doing the, everything was so freaking cool and i just i was left confused and wanting more and i don't know and i, I don't even i just i want to know what was going on in their heads and hearts when all of this was happening you know or even in the making of it it's because it was just very weird and kind of just dark you know it, it was really cool though I just want to know exactly what they were thinking because that's really interesting. Man, everything about that was cool. The dancing was great. Um, just, I don't know. The beat was fantastic. And uh, it was just, it had so much attitude. That was so cool. Um, and I love, <laughs> I love all the different microphones falling at the end. That was, that was great. So, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely a BTS fan uh, after this. I, I can see why they're, like, doing so well globally. Um, so, yeah, I definitely would like to listen to some more of these guys. Although I'm sure Kevin will have us react to more of them in the future. So, yeah, these guys are awesome. Thanks, Kev. And as for the mic drop, I mean, I get the, the storyline, at least to me, wasn't as crazy or weird as um, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, but I mean, it was just amazing musically and choreographically, and oh, every both of these songs just blew me away. Both of these songs and videos, because I mean, I really love the videos and the content within everything, but just holy moly, I the one that left me confused and craving more knowledge on the subject was Blood, Sweat, and Tears. I can't say I like that one more or less because I would definitely listen to both of them just as much as anything else. You know, I, I don't prefer either one. It's just based on the story, the Blood, Sweat, and Tears was just like, what? What? What are you talking about, mate? I need a little more inquiry, you know? But I mean, just holy moly. Ah. And I don't know if I'm wrong, but I heard something playing because um, my parents were watching the New York, no, New Year's thing, and I think they played Mic Drop. I think they performed Mic Drop because I, I didn't see it all. I just heard it in the background. I'm like, is that BTS? That's BTS. And I was like, I want to go see it, but wait, no, what if I'm going to react to that? So <laughs> so I, I held back. I'm staying true to you guys because I, I love what I do and I love you guys. So. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I definitely loved in, like reacting to all of this. It was just... Uh, I loved what I heard and saw. And I hope you have a great day, month, year, decade, century. Anything more than that, I don't know if we can live that long. But I hope you have a great one of those. Peace. Love you all.
Hey guys, I'm Kevin Tran and I am the producer and host of Metal History Reacting K-Pop. Sorry, my throat is a little bit hoarse right now because I woke up this morning with a strep throat and my body was aching and I had to go work. It was terrible. <laughs> but I feel much better now, so just gotta sleep it off and drink some medication, you know? But anyways, I wanna tell you guys a funny story. Adam said that he's gonna lose his BTS virginity, but little did he know, he actually already heard BTS. So a year ago, he actually reacted to K-pop for Metal Has Reacted to K-pop, but for season one. However, like his file never sent, and months later he finally sends it, but he realizes that he was acting like a dumb person. So he was like, Kevin, I'm kind of embarrassed to post this. Let me try again. And I'm like, well, why don't you react with Sebastian and become a new member of the Metal Has React crew? He was like, all right. And then there he is and he's gotten better at reacting in every episode. So thank you guys for watching this episode and hit the like button, which is right down here, and hit the subscribe button, which is right below the like button, and hit the playlist right below me, right here. If you guys wanna watch more Metal History of K-pop, I have season one and season two in one playlist, so you guys should check it out. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.